All right, it's been a while since uh, my last video, and uh, I've been playing with uh, a few different things, and I'd like to share that with you. So first, um, let's take a look at HiSoft Basic version 2. Uh, this is a nice little Amiga Basic uh, compatible compiler. Uh, I wouldn't say it's fully compatible, but it's uh, pretty close. Um, but I did find a few or a couple of things wrong with it. Um, so let me just show you that. Uh, so this is a bit of code I've been playing around in Amiga Basic. And I'm going to show you how it looks in HiSoft Basic right now. So let's just compile it and run it. And uh, we see that it draws three shapes, basically. and uh, these two are supposed to be sprites, uh, and uh, they don't quite look right. And I'm going to exit this. Let me just. And let's. Let's load up. Um, Amiga Basic, and uh, same program, and let's run it in here. And if you notice, yeah, there's uh, actually uh, three sprites and one bob here, and uh, the colors look a little different. And if I move the mouse pointer you can see that it changes. Now this is on the Amiga, this is an indication that it's a V sprite that we're seeing here. And uh, and for some reason, uh, HiSoft Basic doesn't display the, uh, the fourth sprite. So that's one of the things I found out that's inconsistent with uh, HiSoft Basic. Um, but everything else I've uh, played around with seems to work. So if you uh, if you want to create a game or something, as long as you don't want to use V sprites, it seems to work just fine. So the the other compiler that HiSoft makes is a Pascal compiler, and uh, let me load that up. Yeah, let me just close some windows. It's getting a little messy here. Um, And I'm going to load up some code. Uh, so on its own, uh, it uh, high soft base, uh, high soft uh, or high speed Pascal doesn't. Um, support uh, V sprites and Bob. So I had to write a little bit of code, but it does support the standard uh, libraries like the graphics and intuition, exec. Uh, all that seems to function correctly. And if I run my little demo here, you can see that it, again, very similar to the basic one, but uh, this is a V sprite. This is a V sprite. This is a Bob. Uh, have it timed so let's uh and uh all these seem to work just fine you can see the color changes in the mouse pointer everything's good here um and uh i was kind of surprised that uh this being released at in 94 was actually that good i i think this was around the time i was off the amiga and onto the pc world uh but uh it it seems to be uh, very compatible with Turbo Pascal. That's what I got into after uh, buying a PC and doing all the uh, PC stuff. So, so this is actually very similar to another language I was using on the Amiga uh, prior to switching, which was uh, Benchmark Modula 2. So all this looks very familiar and uh, 
it's nice that uh, someone released a, a Pascal compiler that was actually pretty good at, at the time. I don't know how popular this became, but um, uh, I didn't hear of it. I only discovered it on archive.org, downloaded it, installed it, and uh, I was kind of surprised how good it was. So I've been using this to play around in the Amiga emulator, but I've also been playing around with the, uh, let me see if I can load it properly. So I'm running uh, Ubuntu in, uh, in VirtualBox and I'm running a Docker container that has an Amiga cross compiler. So you can select all these different targets, um, even Lazarus for some of the uh, other operating systems. So I don't think it works with the uh, Amiga 68K version, but uh, that's my main interest. And uh, so I've been able to compile uh, the same code that I've been working with in Highsoft Pascal with the uh, free Pascal compiler. So it also works pretty good. There is some work in getting all this uh, to work. You do have to put some effort. It doesn't all work automatically. But again, all the, uh, the standard libraries seem to be accessible. Um, so let me just show you how I normally do this. Uh, so I have a, a little game uh, I wrote and uh, I ported it to Amiga using uh, the Highsoft uh, Pascal compiler, but I also modified it so that it would compile under free Pascal. So this is how I, uh, I basically did it. Uh, so I have a folder there and I have my program in there and I'm in the main folder of the uh, Docker container. So what I'll do is just do I might have to put dot, yeah, yeah. So if we do cross FPC Amiga and uh, specify, specify our folder and our main uh, main program. So let's see what happens. And you can see it compiled it. And we can see if we look in the folder. Let's do a listing. So here it is right here at the top. So if we look at our time here, it's 10.32, and so it compiled this. So the size of this is actually pretty good. It's not as small as the um, Highsoft Pascal compiler, which I think comes a little bit less, but um, Free Pascal actually supports a lot more language features. So if you're looking at uh, trying it, I think it's it's pretty stable at this point. Uh, I've been very happy with it. All the code that I've uh, tried to compile has worked. The things that haven't have been uh, basically my own fault. Um, but uh, if you've been thinking about trying something on the Amiga, at least with the um, 3.1 version, I'd say give uh, the... Uh, Free Pascal compiler try seems to work for me. There's not a lot of documentation or demo programs, but you can, I wouldn't say easily, but you can convert some of the C programs out there. I've been kind of going through a lot of PDF books with C source code and looking at whatever is available online. It's a little tough when nobody else has done it in Pascal yet, but it, if you kind of go slowly, you could get things working. So that's how I ended up uh, getting my uh, my bobs and sprites to work here. And uh, the same code also works with Free Pascal. So 
you could do things like this. And I think that's where I'll end this. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, uh, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, I usually answer pretty quick.